two-star hotel, hotel room. Okay, this is the room. Why did they give me two beds? That's annoying. Because uh, the fact that there's no, it is, doesn't even have a f refrigerator. Nothing. I walked in here, I came in here one minute ago and it was boiling hot. <laughs> this isn't even on. It's not even plugged in. Is it going to work at all? Oh. <laughs> it's a miracle. This, this fan works at least. Maybe do I refrigerate my food using the cold air? From this vent. These things work good enough. <laughs> It'll look good up to 60 degrees. I sure hope that it gets good. a little colder in here. Oh, yeah. Hey, welcome to the new. Uh, place I just got here. I don't know why they charged me in, in, in $90 and last time it was $70. Some, they said something because about, oh you have to reserve it online. What does that mean? What's the, what difference does it make? In this place, like it seems to me like 90% of all these rooms are empty and clean and ready for people to sleep at. Like why can't they just just get just offer a bargain or something? I I don't I don't want to be too um uh, uh I'm not gonna be too demanding because last time it was pretty fancy at least compared to this. That's why I had to stay there six days. I already knew it was about to be nice before I got. I saw pictures on the internet. Maybe that's what I had to do. I, maybe that's my problem. Use, uh, use Priceline.com to get some good deals and find a, just, just the right location to take a nap. I'm just going to do the... Uh, I've, been, I've been really driving around and wasting gas ever since I left yesterday from the place in the afternoon. I I just I've been going to so many new towns I've never been to before in Virginia, like Dale City. I uh, went to through Potomac Mills. I went through Lorton, Woodbridge, all through Prince William Forest. Uh, it's a big place, and it's surrounded by lots of farms with country roads that run through them. It's a lot of dirt roads out there. That's what this Jeep was designed to drive on to, with four-wheel drive, to be on nice bumpy places. It's meant to shake around real hard. The whole thing's made of steel. You can feel as it rocks around this good though. It's not even that springy. It's just one big thing of steel. It's heavy though. And it uses lots of gas. So I filled up my gas tank twice since I left the hotel. I had to fill 20 gallons of gas since I left. That's a lot of money. Wow. <laughs> It costed at first four sixty five, and then I went through DC. I actually drove through the Anacostia part of the Washington DC, and all throughout Silver Spring, and then I went driving all the way back. I went through like through Maryland, a couple of towns. Near, near Annapolis, not quite all the way to Bowie, but I did go just south of Fredericksburg, southeast of it, near Potomac, Maryland, all around there. And 
and all down south near Woodrow Wilson Bridge, near the uh, MGM, the, the, the National Harbor. I like that place, that's a good area. Too expensive for me to, why can't they cut me a deal? I need a bargain today. Uh, I not only have I been driving and wasting gas, but half of the time I've also been riding my bicycle. I park in any random location I feel like, uh, any brightly lit public place where I could check on my car from a distance. And I bike in a circle. I bike in laps around places. Just to kill some energy. Just to go, go around. This bicycle is so light. I can move really quickly through places. I can also get down to a really low position with it. Like a, like a sprinter. Like People tell me I look like a greyhound. That's cool though. I, I like to ride. I like to ride my bicycle. And to go on this long adventure. Coffee, propane coffee is necessary. These items here, just for the night. I do plan to make as much coffee as possible. I don't necessarily, I don't have to film that. I already showed you guys, that would be boring. This is just a really, really nice stove, because it's collapsible. It's fodual. I love this though. It heats up a lot. And a little sparky. Hey, hey, hey. Electricity. If I can feel it in my nerve, I feel the voltage. I don't know if you can see on the frame rate, 30 FPS, 720p. I like this. They attach. Very simple. Oh yeah. You hear that, right? That's that liquid. And it comes out into a gas with high, high, high pressure, high pressure. This is very high pressure. It will, you do not want to. It says here, do not throw or drop or toss. And, and uh, all kind of other stuff. They printed out a textbook of labels on this kit of propane. I don't know why. It seems simple enough to me to be very basic and fundamental. Onion salt. Uh, pliers. I cut my finger last time with this potato peeler when I was trying to do the thing with the garlic. It's only, I only did that just because I forgot to grab my knife. It was in my passenger seat. And a utensil. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh. Ha, 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 ha. I need some fish. Because I just finished eating all of my fish. I actually had a ton of fish out, out here. While I was driving around to sustain my body, I had, well, I was also bicycling. I had a humongous, enormous, fresh, and nutritious salad. Exactly just like I made in that video. The same thing. The only difference, I added two extra cans of tuna onto it. So it had four cans of tuna. Each of those cans is five ounces, or four ounces, I'm sorry. But then it's like three ounces drained, and that's what's good. It's good protein too. I like that. Uh, this is for later. Uh, 
it's also a really good cooler for like beverages considering the fact that I don't have any refrigeration or, or I don't have a fridge why not that's crazy though <laughs> the other room had a fridge and he's the same price I guess the, the balance the trade-off is they provide two of these so like they, they probably were like judging me and they assumed that I had a girlfriend well believe it or not I know I'm sexy and everything but I was single so like like you could have at least let me um, why can't I just sleep on the roof of the place what's up there like just a bunch of empty you know on, on, on top of most of all of these buildings all around here it's unoccupied there could be a squatter living up on top of these places for all they know they might as well like like put a price tag on it so that people just like me be able to head out and and like like camp out on the roof wouldn't that be nice like is there any kind of a town i can travel to that's like that i heard the slab city is pretty cool but all they have is rv i want to live in a tower like on top of the roof as high as possible uh, to be able to afford like a penthouse I want to be able to get the, the nicest penthouse that I would be able to like easily maybe take out a loan from the bank maybe win the lottery and just go live in there mm, that's just nice well, I, I, I tend to have pretty bad luck. I did break my neck. Uh, in fact, yes, I broke my whole entire spine almost. It was all fragmented. But it, that doesn't matter. Because, like, <laughs> it doesn't hurt. <laughs> look, at, look at that. <laughs> it doesn't hurt at all. <laughs> it's good.